I um, basically had a headache every single day that I was working because I was concentrating so hard on not giving myself away and not saying the wrong thing. But yeah, there are definitely moments where you you have to put in the extra effort and and I think that's our responsibility. It's a privilege to be a sports broadcaster. It is our responsibility to take the extra time and, and effort into knowing what you're talking about. Uh, the other sports that really fascinate me from Australia, rugby league, rugby union and AFL, different codes of football, not so much popular in India. In, in fact, AFL is very, uh, very Aussie. So how uh, difficult or easy has it been as a sports presenter to shift between sports? Because the knowledge base is different, the players are different, the cultures are different. Yeah, for sure. And I grew up in Western Australia, which, as I said before, is AFL Heartland. And I lived in Sydney for a couple of years, which is NRL Heartland. So my, I sort of joked that because I always try and pay respect to those people who are watching and it, they're the ones that have given up their time. And it's my job to to give them the information that they need and to to know the information that I should know and the terminology and the players' names. So I, I joke that when I moved from Perth to Sydney, I um, basically had a headache every single day that I was working because I was concentrating so hard on not giving myself away and not saying the wrong thing. And it can be so simple as just one word, judiciary against tribunal, sideline, boundary, referee, umpire, one word and people watching will go, I know you don't follow my sport. Yeah. And that I respect people so much that I never wanted to do that. And so in the two years that I, that I lived in Sydney, um, I, yeah, I managed not to, not to get that wrong. Um, but yeah, there are definitely moments where you, you have to put in the extra effort and, and I think that's our responsibility. It's a privilege to be a sports broadcaster. It is our responsibility to take the extra time and, and effort into knowing what you're talking about. Yeah, exactly. And talking about AFL, how would you uh, describe AFL to an Indian sports fan? Because every, by the way, football, soccer is very popular here, especially the European leagues, the World Cup and the Euro, although our national team is gradually growing. Uh, not as good as the Socceroos, obviously, as yet, but... Uh, how would you describe AFL to an Indian sports fan? I would say the biggest thing is because most people who understand football, they think of the NFL in the States or NRL, rugby union, which is basically two lines coming together. Whereas yeah. AFL is a 360 degree sport. Yeah. So the ground is an oval or, um, you know, or round similar to, to cricket and most of the cricket grounds and, and a AFL grounds are shared. Um, but, it's a 300 degrees, uh, 360 degree sport, both physically and um, the actual makeup of the ground. So somebody can come from you from anywhere. There's no offside. There's no lines coming together. It is matchups all over the ground. And so sometimes when you're looking at it from above, people think that it looks like ants just running everywhere and just chaos. But once you understand it, you fall in love with it. And then you realize it's actually organized chaos, but it's physical. It's entertaining. I still think it's one of the most physically entertaining sports in the world, if not the most. Um, and it provides just spectacular moments of, um, yeah, of just special um, entertainment. And the other thing that I would say is, and a little bit like cricket in this manner, it's a game for all shapes and sizes. Mm. So there are players that are my height and playing in this really physical sport. And then there are players who are, you know, six foot eight and playing in this sport. So it's not like basketball where you really have to be really tall and have real physical attributes to be able to jump high. You can have a specific physical attribute and, and manage to, you know, play your role in this game. And I kind of love it in that way because, it, you know, even if you're really little, you can still find a way to have enough heart, enough soul um, to be able to play this game at an elite level. <laughs>